It was 1971 when America's love affair with the car went lunar. The Apollo lunar rover turned American moonwalkers into moon drivers, allowing astronauts to explore more than 50 miles of lunar crust and craters. I'm glad they got this great suspension system on this thing. The Apollo lunar rover was a phenomenal machine, but fundamentally it had a very different job to do than the one we're doing. So the Apollo lunar rover was only designed to last about three days on the lunar surface. We have to last up to 10 years on the lunar surface. So you just point the joystick whichever way you want to go, super intuitive. Jarrett Matthews uh, is the founder of Astrolab. On a back street in Hawthorne, California, oh, wow, he yeah. took us for a spin in a Zamboni-looking prototype of his company's 21st century lunar rover called Flex. Yeah. <laughs> We can also do what's called crabbing. So this, this steers all the, the wheels laterally, and this is for all those uh, tight parking spots on the moon, so. The final design will look like this, a four-wheel drive electric vehicle that can carry two astronauts and move cargo at a top speed of about nine miles per hour. The lunar terrain vehicles have to be a mashup of the Apollo lunar rover to carry two suited astronauts, as well as something more modern like the Perseverance rover on Mars and can be operated you know, remotely from Earth. You've kind of got to be a Swiss Army knife of vehicles. Absolutely, yeah. Astrolab is one of three companies competing for a NASA contract to build a new lunar rover for use starting with the Artemis V mission in 2030. Flex must survive in an unforgiving environment with 400 degree temperature swings and lunar nights that last two weeks. It has to be robust to temperature extremes, radiation, I mean, everything is trying to kill it. In some ways, you have no margin of error. There's no AAA if you blow a tire. Absolutely. That's one reason they're airless. Its airless tires made of silicone and stainless steel can conform to the terrain, but Flex has some competition. Intuitive Machines of Houston is pitching NASA its Moon Racer rover. And Colorado-based Lunar Outpost has developed a space truck called Eagle. Lunar Outpost's CEO, Justin Cyrus, told us he sees opportunity on the moon beyond NASA. NASA doesn't want to be the only customer. And the only way you can do that is creating a vehicle that is truly capable enough to allow for new activities on the lunar surface. You want to drive yourself? I'd love to. Okay. Steering with a joystick That's designed good. for yeah. the limited Four. movement Four. allowed by a spacesuit. Well, now we're really going. Yeah. Now we're cooking, huh? Cooking up a slow and steady ride like to the moon and beyond. <laughs>